Hey all. Now what you see over here is in this data I have this column called bucket. All right. So which contains the value bucket 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. What I want is I want to create another column which is which will be named as customer type and I want to categorize that something like this. If bucket is having value bucket 0 then I want to say that customer is transactor. If that bucket value, if this bucket column is having the bucket, uh, having the value bucket four, I want to call it defaulter. And otherwise, if whatever is left out, I want to call them delinquent, right? So this is called the conditional column creation, right? I'm going to create a conditional column. Now to create this, there are two ways. Number one, using the code. I mean, you can write the DAX statement, uh, if else statement, and you can achieve this. And if you were interested in doing that, you can go ahead and watch this video. All that you need to do is search for if else in Power BI Learn Area, or I'll also give the link of this video in the description section. Okay. You can watch that. Or the other way, the most amazing thing, if you are someone who is not very much interested in coding and all those stuff, rather you are more interested in analytics work, right? Analysis work, then it worth not wasting the time on coding and directly use the user interface. So that's the amazing thing which I'm going to tell you in this video. Just stay tuned. All right. So let's just start. So to achieve that, what we're going to do is go on home tab and then click on transform. This is going to take us into the Power Query window. And over there, we are going to get amazing options through which we can do all these sort of things. Okay. So now I'll just close this for now and just scroll it right to figure out where my column is. Here is my column. All right. Now, to create that customer type column, what I'm going to do is add column. And right over here, I have this option conditional column. All right. Now, as soon as I click this, let's see what's going to happen. So here is what I'm going to get. So here it says, what is the new column which you want to create? What is the name that you want to give it? So I'm going to say customer type. All right. Then it says, tell me the condition, right? You can tell the condition if column, it starts with the if statement. And now it is asking you to tell the column in which you want to look for it. So we want to look into the bucket column, right? So I'm going to choose bucket from here. Then it says what exactly that you want. What, how do you want to compare it? So I want to say equals, equals what? Bucket zero, bucket zero, referring to this statement. If bucket equals to zero, if bucket column is having the value bucket zero, then I want to name it as transactor. All right, this is done. Then the next statement which we need to put is if it is bucket four, then put it as defaulter. So I'll here I would require to click on add clause. Again, from here, I need to choose bucket because in the same column I'm looking at. And again, I'm going to continue with the same statement, which is called equals same operator rather, I should say. And over here, I need to put the value as bucket four. If it is bucket four, then I want to generate what sort of value that I want to generate. I want to say it defaulter. Defaulter. All right. If neither of these two are true, then I need to jump to this else statement. You see over here else. Now over here, if anything available in this bucket column, which is not zero or four, I want to call them delinquent referring to, again, referring to this statement delinquent. Okay. So I'll come back over here and I'll just put it right here and just say, okay, as soon as you do this, you are going to get this one. Okay. Let's validate it. Customer type is created. Now let's just validate it. You go over here and choose defaulter. All right. And come back in bucket and you see only bucket four is available. Awesome. Then let's just check it for delinquent. And over here you have one, two, three, right? Everything other than four and zero. And let's just check for transactor also. From here, choose transactor and over here you've got zero. All right, this is awesome. Now just let's just clear this filter and come back home tab and say save and close. I will just do save and close and then it's gonna reflect in my Power BI table. It's just loading. Let's just allow a couple of minutes. 
not couple of minutes exactly but just one minute and you see here we got so this is how you can create a conditional column without using the codes for if else statement all right thank you very much for watching this wish you good luck